Let's cross to Abidjan and uh, France 24 correspondent uh, Sophie Lamotte. Uh, Sophie, what's the latest? Well, we're here just outside the uh, tribunal, the, the first instance tribunal, where the uh, four accused are being heard. As you mentioned, just four people out of the 18 accused. Um, there's a reason for that. Some of them were killed on the spot in 2016 after the attacks. Some of them are still on the loose, um, some, some of them in Mali, some of them across Western Africa. Um, so it's a long-awaited verdict for the victims, for the survivors. We actually, in the last three weeks, th this um, court has been going on for the last three weeks, we've heard from victims themselves who have gone into excruciating details of what happened. Uh, some people who were there and who were able to help others, some people who were able to, to describe the, the assailants uh, to the courts. We also heard from members of the armed forces, uh, or rather the police forces. Um, and of course, we heard yesterday from the defendant for the accused, um, or and no, we'll hear from him today. And we heard from the lawyers of the civil parties yesterday who's asking for a life sentence for all of the all of the accused and what's peculiar also about this case is that the four people who are appearing here are not the sort of um, the main um, accused they're only the small hands as some people have described them um, and they're accused of having driven the assailants of having uh, housed them or of having delivered some uh, weapons to them but they're going to be uh, tried on the exact same um, same basis as everybody else so they're also charged for potentially life sentence. We'll get the verdict in just a few hours. Sophie, by, by targeting uh, Grand Bassam, uh, that terror cell uh, was going after what is the, the weekend getaway for Westerners and the well-to-do in Abidjan. Absolutely. I was actually just in Grand Massam this morning and following um, an NGO who was uh, cleaning up the beach. And they were telling me that this NGO uh, started because as a response to the Grand Massam attacks in 2016, they say that what happened after that really, it marked uh, a, sharp dif a sharp difference between there was a before and an after in Grand Massam over, because of these attacks. Before it was a, a resort, a tourist attraction, a, a tourist uh, getaway, as you said. And and just after that, it became a space where people were really scared to go. People, um, but Grand Bassam was marked with such an atrocity. Um, it was very hard for restaurateurs, for even just local residents, to to be in Grand Bassam without thinking of these attacks without reliving this trauma and it is still impacting a lot of them today so it is a very very awaited uh, verdict for a lot of the victims a lot of the, there's only nine civil parties which is could be seen as surprising but a lot of them have said that they don't really need this verdict to sort of move on and that was more of a personal work that they had to do on themselves but it will be a much awaited verdict today Sophie Lamotte reporting live from Abidjan many thanks for that update